Hello and welcome to another video from Miniature Tanks Company. In this video, we're going to be assembling the T-34 tank. Um, T-3485 for this model. This video will be good for the T-3485 and also the T-3476. Be the same video. All right, so this one is available at miniaturetanks.com the T3485 or the T3476. So let's go ahead and start cutting away the sprues. Those two pieces are good. This piece is fine. And this piece is fine as well. Now, go ahead and take your cutters like that. So that should be good. And then cut like this. There we go. Just keep cutting away like I'm doing here. Little sprue cuts. All right, those two bins, cargo bins, whatever. And then these uh, jettison tanks. Now there's actually a little more cutting here. So let's just cut everything out from inside this part of the tank that we can clean it up later. All right, so there's that. Still a gun to do as well, but. All right, here's more cargo bins. There you go. Uh, just clean up these sprue marks. Cut, cut up the sprues and clean them up. You can sand them down too, if you wish. This is just the basic assembly video. All right, so there's all these little bins and crates. Okay, there's that. Oops, don't forget to cut this sprue cut. It's important to clean this sprue cut Sand it down even if you wish. The last little sprue things to cut here. All right, so here's the last piece that we need to cut here. We need to cut the support plastic from underneath this gun. So just clip away and snip like this. If you see how I'm doing that. Then go like that, and then snip some more. Just be careful to snip it well, not break the gun. All right, and then underneath this gun, you can do any cleanup you wish, or sanding. That can be handy as well, sanding down underneath where the cut is, where this support plastic material. So yeah, just be cutting away like this. All right, so that completes that part of the assembly. Now, let's start putting this together. The most obvious and easy step is we're going to glue this part together. And it's gonna go like this. And you can see that because of how the features match up well in the front. So just put a bit of glue there and some glue there. I'm using this Loctite glues. The clippers and the Loctite glue are available at the website too, miniaturetankscompany.com. So try to get this really nicely glued together like that. All right, so there's the turret. 
And this is the same way as T3485 or T3476. Either one will do the same process. So it's not going to go like this. It's going to go like this, as you can see. So the first step that uh, you should do is just put some glue on the front of this piece there and then just glue that there. You can use the table if you wish to help guide that in. So you see how that worked. And next, go ahead and put some glue. I'm putting some glue on the edges here and the sides there. There you have it. Now be careful with the following step. You want to make sure that this is going in the center of this piece. That actually happened to be kind of a great fit, but pry it apart and glue it again if if it was not just make sure that it's centered like like it happened there and then put some glue like this put this little piece like that easy to figure out where that goes all right so just make sure that this piece is gluing down in the correct position there, centered, and yeah, you can see how that all lines up. Looks pretty good. So with the tracks, you can see how this tracks will not be the correct way. Um, it should be this way because it's curved here and then it's more flat on the back there. So it's fairly simple to figure out where the tracks go. Just put some glue down, put some glue down on the other side, then put these tracks like that. Don't get glue on your fingers. And then, all right, and then once you have them in the correct position, really put them down like that, press them down. And there you have it. This is the completed T3485. Of course, then you can take all the, the extra pieces, the jettison tanks, the crates, the bins, whatever, and you can look at historical photographs and glue them on as you wish. The pictures for the listing will have an example, but technically this is done if you just want to bare bones basic version of this tank without all those extra stowage pack stuff this is available at miniaturetanks.com thank you so much for watching